Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, and what happened? In the last episode, we were in Vivek, we finished up our business in Vivek, and now we're on the road headed to Ebenhart. I really should have just gone directly from the two cities instead of going all the way up the road. But I was bored, and I wanted to play Morrowind, but I was editing, so I, I couldn't play and I couldn't record. So I ran around, you remember this was like a huge farm for those creatures? The Betty Netch and the Bull Netch? I wanted to know if I could kill them and get away with it. The herders didn't care. So I put on some Rocky theme music and I just ran around and trained. I trained acrobatics, athletics. I took off all my armor and fought them naked to get an armored skill even. And I just essentially trained a bit. As you can see here, we now have very good speed bonuses and strength bonuses because of... Well, me derping around off camera. And as I was resting to regain my health, of course an assassin came. And I figured out that if you do this dispose of corpse, it appears in your inventory. I figured it would just, you know, remove it, but it features this... It works the same as a remove or a take all option, which is weird. Yeah, sorry about your creatures, but... Leave the nuts alone, they'll leave you alone. Yeah, she, they don't care. There's There are no consequences here. You know what? I, I love it when there's no consequences to punish me. Also, I figured out that the book I sold in the last one that I was supposed to give to Tribe try bone areas. I didn't find where I sold it, if I sold it, but it was called like Terrors, Adra and Daedra, I believe the book was called, so we can keep an eye out for that. So, we'll get on the roads to Ebonheart right now. Although, I think that this Dark Brotherhood quest has to do with the expansion pack Tribunal, and that it might be aimed at somebody who's a bit higher level than us, necessarily. Yeah, there's somebody in the water. Ah! Wait, I can't fight again. This happened the last time too, didn't it? That I suddenly can't fight? Why? Use is supposed to be the mouse button. There we go. Arr. Oh, and th then I'm doing like random attacks. Thing is, there's an option in the menus. Always use best attack. Which always uses the best attack. Somebody was like, there's so little variety, but I'm like, it's the best attack. <laughs> I want to do the most damage. I'm already not hitting things 100% of the time, so, you know. Yeah, let's... Actually, the bull nutches are kind of scary. I'm gonna fight some, so you can see what I had to go through. I did let them hit me a little bit, though. That's, uh, that's the thing I did, because I wanted to train my armor skills, or my unarmored skill, for that matter, because it gives me speeds. Yeah, and it's going down. Pfft. Cool. I'm probably gonna start disposing of corpses more because some areas I'm struggling a bit with the frame rate. I know, haha, ha, it's more a win. What kind of potato are you running it on? I'm running it on a decent gaming PC. My specs are on the channel, but it just doesn't run Morrowind that well. I mean, Skyrim and Oblivion runs a lot better than this, and they're newer games. But, oh well. We're taking care of business here. I'm loving my new sword. There's a creature over there that will go and uh, hassle a little bit. So we'll wait until we're all healed up. Oh. How fearsome. Alright, mister. Here's Brynjar. So we probably won't get a lot out of doing the Dark Brotherhood quest in Ebonheart. I mean, we can't, probably can't even do it, but just getting to the city at least is going to be a Feet, and that's going to be what we're going to be going for in today's episode. And once we've done that, we can finally head back to Balmora. And the way we're gonna head back to Balmora is not take the road, we're actually gonna be using the guild mages to teleport us around, because I feel like we've gone down the normal roads. Hello? When it comes to Balmora, so we can teleport back. Who might you be? Greetings, my friend. It is I, Nell Slendo. Ah, I see you've heard of me. I'm not surprised. No, no, do not tremble in fear. Nell Slendo is a reasonable man. Hard let a cutthroat some would make me out to be. I offer you a fair and healthy proposition. Okay. A very simple proposition, actually. You will give me 50 septums, and in return you will be allowed to continue safely on your journey. Nels Lendo gives you his word as a gentleman that, once a transaction has taken place, you have nothing to fear from me. In fact, I could be a very good friend to have. What say you? You know what? Never! I fear you're making an unwise decision, my friend, but so be it. 
Oh, I hate to so soil my clothes with your blood. No matter, such is the life of Nils Lendo. Sure, come at me, bro. I'd like to see you try. Yeah. You died. Sorry. 6 to 12. 4 to 18. I'll probably keep my own. And this pose of corpse. Nice. Well, that was one bandit we won't see again. Uh, maybe I shouldn't teleport to Belmora. Then again, Belmora... Because I could... Wait, I'm going the... Oh, wow, I'm going the wrong way. Ah, I did not follow the signs. Uh, let's wait until morning. It's much more interesting to travel during the day, I find, at least. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? We should go back to the city. What was it? Hulawad? And... Do you guys remember the bandit there? There were also a few caves I couldn't do because they were kicking my butt. But now I'm the one kicking butt. I am the one who butt kicks. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Nobody messes with me. So we're gonna want to find a trainer though. So we're gonna want to be checking out a town and see if we can find somebody who can train us in. What is it that gives agility? That doesn't level us up. I think it's just light armor really. But we can also use our... Whoops, that's our lockpick. I got some new hotkeys set up. We can also use our bow more in combat if you want to train a little bit of marksman and agility. Whoa, what's that? Monsters! Pew. Uh, yeah! Some spark arrows. They're actually pretty effective considering I'm not trained a lot. Pew. Oh. That's one. Boom! Oh. Keep missing, there we go. Cool. So we can use a little bit of bow and arrow too. Mix it up a little bit. You've contracted yellow tick. Okay. That's nice. Does this go away on its own? It doesn't go away on its own. Well. That sucks. Where's my cure disease potion? Spoiled cure disease potion. There we go. And then we wait for an hour and we are all set to continue. Okay. I thought the whole reason of not getting close to them was not having to get the diseases. Whatever. Ebonheart this way. So it's along the city of Yvek, so all along we could have just probably jumped out the back of Yvek and been totally fine with it. But that doesn't matter now. Our pants suck. I'm just gonna say it, I'm, I'm sorry, your pants suck. We're gonna need some proper pants in due time. But right now they're the medium armor that we got and we just gotta make do with it. So come on Brynjar, we got places to be. Looks like we're coming up on Ebonheart. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. Alrighty. Let's have a look inside and tell these people about the Dark Brotherhood. Let's see what we can do about it. Probably not a lot because it's a higher level quest. Somebody pointed out that the Dark Brotherhood, they come as a result of the expansion pack. And it's sort of meant for higher level players. And when they come at a really low level, First of all, you might struggle to kill them, that wasn't a problem with me, but if you do manage to kill them, their armor sells for a lot, which is something I've experienced firsthand. It's a beautiful place. With an outfit like that, you must be doing very well for yourself. I am, I'm a, I'm a good thief. Can I help you? Well, what's, what's going on here? With all the unrest in Cyrodiil City, a trooper told me they might have to recall the legions to protect the Emperor. Well, the Emperor's gonna die in like six years. Nothing big. The Imperial Legion may be recruiting. Okay. Keep your weapons sharp. That's a good point. Let's make sure it's all being kept sharp. And I thought the Oblivion repair section was unforgiving. This is worse, man. These 20 hammers trying to fix a dent in your armor. Oh well. 
armorer skill helps us level up and it gives us strength so we need to find oh who was that man let's find who we wanted to talk to in ebon hearts it was the dark brotherhood attacks apelles matthias is he around have you seen apelles yes what is it Malin Pillus. Hello. How you doing, buddy? Have you guys seen the guy whose name I've already forgotten? All of these Imperial names, they just... I don't know, I get I get confused. And sometimes I forget things. That, that just happens. Great, great design. Great design. Uh, let's... He might be on the docks. That, that looks like a red guard. So he probably has like, yeah, some sort of short name. Let's see. I could go into the Legion Garrison. He might be a guard. But I don't know if that would be the right place. You, walking around. Apelles Matthias, there we go. What's this about the Dark Brotherhood? You say you've been attacked by them. Huh, the fact that you're standing here seems to suggest otherwise. Perhaps you have been attacked. Hmm, that's bad business. I don't know who it is that wants you dead, and I don't want to know. Dark Brotherhood activity here in Vardenfell has been almost unheard of, but I know they have a large contingent back on the mainland. Yes, in Mornhold itself, actually. If you're feeling particularly suicidal, you can check it out for yourself. Of course, it's not easy to get there these days. Because of the blight, boats from Vardenfell are turned away immediately. There is one way you might get there, though. Speak with Sien Rain about transport to Mornhold. She might be able to help you out. She's a maid who arrived in Vardenfell at the same time I did. Special appointment to Duke Dren himself. Nice woman and a powerful mage. You should be able to find her in the Grand Council Chambers here in Ebonheart. Alright, transport to Mornhold. Well, that's probably something for another day. I don't know the recommended level for that. But for now, we have plenty of adventures to go on on our own. And we've already checked out Ebonheart. I don't really know if there are any guilds or something in Ebonheart. So, something I did notice is that in the last episode, I bought a lot of spells that I can't really use. Because... My level of skill is not there, and that's affecting whether or not it'll be successful. If I just stand around, do I not regain fatigue? I do regain fatigue. So as you can see, like, I, I, there's no way I can use the hide spell. Maybe I could use a mark spell if I got insanely lucky, but these aren't reliable spells. What about Quicksilver? Even that's a 50-50, but oh gosh, I love this spell. <sighs> Well, what school is that? That is Restoration, okay, yeah. That makes sense, because that's the school I'm skilled with. So that's just gonna help me navigate. So here's what we're gonna do. I wanna go back to... Balmora. And we are gonna go back to Balmora. How are we gonna get back to Balmora? I'm gonna run to Vivek, and I'll take a mage. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go travel! To Belmora! Go ahead, I'm listening. Yay, I'm here! And they're already talking about me. Stupid bull. So, I guess I should just sort of not get anything from them. So I, I'm not that good at magic. I mean, it can. I don't see you working on those levitation spells. Keep at it. Yeah, you'll be a. You'll be a pro in no time. Don't you worry about that. So, had you sent Is me on some sort of I quest? Can I can't... Okay, speak with the Jira. Well, that's something we might consider doing. What's this? Ooh, cure... We got some interesting things here. I'm gonna take it! So we could get assignments from somebody called a Jira. Well, maybe we, we should just just get some assignments so we have something in our quest log to do. I mean, we already have plenty, but it doesn't hurt to have more. That was a Khajiit. That's the one. Duties! She has duties. Before Jira can be journeyman in major skills, she must study local mushrooms. To finish her report, she needs samples of Luminous, Rusula, Violet, Coprinus, Bungler's Bane, and Hypha Fascia. And Jira knows you can find all these on the Bitter Coast. The easiest way is to go south. You want me to go pick mushrooms for you? Oh, sure. I guess. 
If that's what, if, if you're sure. How much cash do we have? What is the cash level at 1,500? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So, what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go back to the the blade guy. Okay, yes. Hello. Orders. I have your report, and I'll make you copies of the notes from Helia and the Progress of Truth. Give me some time to read and digest all this. In the meantime, I'm promoting you to Journeyman. You're doing good work, and here are 200 drakes. Go out and treat yourself to a new pair of shoes. Hey, don't, don't, don't diss my shoes. And go do some jobs for the guilds or other freelance work just to keep your cover story cure and sir get some training. Then when you're fit and rested, come back and I'll have new orders for you. Sure thing, buddy boo. I'll be back. I'll be back. Mm-mm. Mm, look at those arms! They totally fit with the rest of your body. I am very good company as well. There's Brynir Einar some we're talking about. He is legendary. Legendary good company. Legendarily good company? Oh well. I gotta go find myself a smithy to sell some stuff to. Alright, I sold my stuff and now I see a... Lady in the distance that I may or may not have relations to. I wish. Don't stand about. Hello, Hedvilds. So you look lovely on this day. Oh, 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 okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, what do we do? Uh, I like the way your eyes sparkle. <gasps> We're getting somewhere. Oh my god. Okay. Do we push it? Do we? Do we? Do we push it? One more time. When you look at me with that stare, I totally don't feel unsettled. Okay. Well, it's okay. We, all, oh, we just lost one disposition. That's good. We're making an impression on her. We gotta just impress her a little bit at a time. So now that we have some cash in our pockets, let's go to eight plates and no dates. The sto I've already made that joke. <laughs> let's go to eight plates and get some light armor training from Mr. Traven over here. All right, so that training is a good money sink. <laughs> Prevents us from getting uh, too much of a fortune and then just steamrolling everything. But in general, we're doing pretty fine right now. So we just gotta wait for the challenge to increase a little bit. So the fighter skill, they want us to go on some sort of quest in Caldera. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> fighter skills. I'm going to find four Tilvani agents for some of the and disappearance at the Caldera mine. Okay, there have been a number of ebony thefts, but they're responsible. Caldera is this city up here, I remember. So, I say we get on the road, and we head to Caldera. Yeah. This helmet right here, I'm probably not gonna sell until I have like a really, really good price for it. Then I'm gonna sell it. Because it sells for a lot of cash, but... I'm gonna have to like find the salesman in the game with the most cash and I'm gonna need some better merchantile skills and all of that. I could probably take some sort of transportation to Caldera. I know for a fact that I could use the major skill teleport, but I would rather just do it on foot because I don't know, it's been so much city time lately and I know you guys also want some exploration. I'm excited for exploration. So we're gonna go. We're gonna also use our bow a little bit. Just for some variety and some agility, because agility will help us dodge better and give us more fatigue. It's all good stuff. And then we're gonna be unstoppable. And then once our stats are looking better and we have start to max out more attributes, we can maybe focus a bit more on magic. I mean, we're sort of spreading ourselves thin if we do that, but if we reach the top of the other attributes, we don't exactly have a choice. Let's see, so it's it's this road, yeah? Okay. Let's continue here. So there were some thefts and disappearances at the Caldera Mine. So we'll we'll head to the city and maybe ask some villagers for the directions to the mine so we can go and take care of business. Check this out. Pew! Dead. Pew! Oh, it's coming! Let's see if we can shoot this guy out of the sky. Uh-oh, he's coming closer! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! Poison! Your poison! Ah! No! Stop it! 
think that was my first hit. Oh, second hit. It's going down. Pfft. Sweet. All right. It's kind of infuriating not to hit. That's one of the features that I hope they don't bring over to the next Elder Scrolls. It, I don't know. That feels a bit outdated, not being guaranteed to hit. Like, I understand it in, like, a roleplay sort of sense. Like, if you're playing Dungeons and & Dragons and it's like... Like, I strike at the goblin and then you roll the dice and if you have a bad roll, you don't hit or you actually hit your friends or something. But in a game where you can actually see... Oh my god, I sold my sword at the store. <laughs> oh, I sold my sword. Anyways. Anyways, in a game like this where you're actually physically hitting things and you can see that it connects, it just feels jarring when it doesn't actually hit. So, yeah. Sort of too hardcore. Ah, uh, he farted on me. I need my sword though if I'm gonna be taking- I can't just use my bow. Gosh darn it, what am I gonna do? Might have to go check out the stores or maybe go back and buy it from the smith I sold it to. Ugh. Because I assumed that the weapon wouldn't be sold because I was selling all of my unequipped stuff. But I guess I didn't have my sword equipped. I'm a derp. I can take a quick teleport back to Balmora from Caldera though, I just wanted to make the travel myself at least once. And that's probably how I'm gonna want to go about doing it. Hey rats. Marksman skill. Nice. Onwards. I mean the bow's fine. But if I'm gonna be like fighting four Dark Elves at once, then that's not exactly my idea of a good time. I have some powerful scrolls at my disposal. I was really liking my sword, yo. Oh. Yay, I think I see Caldera in the distance. It's a foggy day. Can we like wait around a while until there's less. There's more fog! Great. Oh, that's fine. We're not going to be fighting in this weather anyways if I have to head back home. Or, oh, I called Balmora my home. Balmora is my home though, I love that city. Whenever I'm in Balmora, I'm like, yay, I'm home. Well, this is a stranger territory. Alright. So. How's everybody? Oh, hey there. I don't think I've seen you in Kadera before, stranger. Can I help you? You're looking for services? Because I can tell you where they are. Now I want to know about the mines. The Caldera Ebony Mines are southwest of the village. There's an office. If you're thinking of taking a look while you're here, head straight west from town, swing around south into the bowl of the mine through a gap in the mountains. Otherwise, you can drive climbing straight over the ridge. Okay. Sure, thanks, buddy. Let's see. That's a palm broker. I was looking for a smithy around here. Or a major guild. Either will do, actually. Where would these guys have their guilds at? Oh. Well, hello there, skill face. Everybody's on booty watch, I guess. That's good. <gasps> Yay, smithy. Maybe he'll sell me some sort of sweet armor. <gasps> a Nord blacksmith? This is amazing. Hey. I don't think I've seen you. Oh, you say the same thing as the other guy. Let's see. Iron. Oh. Nordic broadsword. 6 to 18. Nordic claymore. Chop 1 to 30. Wow. That's, uh, that, that's a thing. That's a thing that happens, huh? Ooh, throwing knives. Cool. Just normal steel arrows. How many arrows do I have? I don't have a lot of arrows, but I think I have enough for now. Yeah, I don't want to weigh myself down too much. I don't really want to use two-handed though. I'm gonna go with a Nordic broadsword, I guess. Sure, I'll buy a Nordic broadsword. He doesn't want to buy my shirt! Scandalous! And get some extra cash for that. Thanks, buddy. 
And then we're gonna make... What was this sword? 4 to 18. And what is this new one? 6 to 18. But it doesn't have the spell. Whatever. We're fine. We got a Nordic longsword now. We gotta, you know... Hail the garbage truck outside. No, we gotta remember our... Our heritage. So this is south. This is west of town. Okay. So let's head west out of town, then go south. Because the mines are to the southwest of Caldera, so they're somewhere down here. So if we take this route out of town, I, just, I can't stand walking in fog. Doesn't look good. So I'm gonna wait around. Hey, that looks better. Sun's coming up. The only fog we have is the low render distance. Oh yeah. That's my kind of fog. So it should be... I mean, it should be over the mountains here, but it said that it might be a bit steep. Plus, I see cliff racers. Check this out. Pew! Oh! Did I hit him, or did he just notice an arrow nearby and therefore... came to attack? Whoa! Oh shit. That was a pretty sweet shot. Pew. I don't think I hit earlier. Oh shit, I'm out of arrows. Switch to the spark arrows. Pew. This is how you fight cliff racers, man. You're gonna... You're gonna do something? Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Iron shard sword. Nope. Don't want that iron. No. Oh gosh. I was gonna make a joke there, but we're gonna skip that joke entirely. Let's rest up. Also, level up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus five strength, plus five agility, plus five speeds. You resolve to continue pushing yourself. Perhaps there's more to you than you thought. There definitely is. Now I'm faster and stronger and I can carry even more. But my personality kind of sucks at the moment. Oh well. Thank you. Okay, we got a little underwater thing going on here. Whoa! Ah, slaughterfish! Block skill increase. I like the fact that the level up sound is different underwater. That's kind of cool. Is there any oh, I'm gonna drown. I have a swift swim potion. Do I have anything that helps me breathe underwater? Uh, otherwise, I'm... Not gonna do well here. Let's see. Ah, let's go back to the surface. I'm gonna drown. Uh oh. Beasts! Oh, wait, the damage was a lot more lenient than I thought it would be. Maybe it's not percentage based. Ah! Let's turn it. Oh, oh, goodies! Don't care. Give me the stuff. Yeah. So as I said, we could make our own enchantments, but it costs a lot of money. Money's not always a problem though. What's a problem is getting some of those, whatchamacallit, soul gems. Because we don't have the magic in order to cast the soul trap spell. So we would have to get scrolls of soul trap, which is a bit inconvenient and probably quite expensive. It's trapped, huh? Well, we'll see how you feel about that. Yeah. I got it all hotkeyed, don't worry about it. And... Restore agility. Oddly specific. Talvani Bug Musk. Was that one of the things I had to get? It just seemed familiar, like I'd seen that in some dialogue somewhere. Oh well. Give me those petty soul gems. And we got gold all over the place. Viper Star. They got like throwing items and stuff. That's really neat. Get my gold. We just took care of this place. Now we can move out. We're finally move. We're finally moving at a decent speed. This is even without using Quicksilver. So if we can manage to get like plus five speed every level, we'll be quick in no time. Yeah. I still remember when we were like, oh, must run around and get destroyed by bandits. Screw that. I'm doing better. I'm doing better. There's only one thing left I want to do this episode. And that is to exact revenge on those who have wronged me in the past. What do I mean by this? Well, you'll see soon enough. Right now we're gonna go back to Belmora the mages guild in caldera if i ever find it and then we're gonna head to actually maybe i should just go straight to satan inn and then just go on the road and take care of everybody who ever messed with me now that i'm a boss bam come on hit if you're not gonna hit yeah it is infuriating when you can't hit even though you physically should it's not something I want in the next Elder Scrolls. Ah, just die! Gosh. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work well in a game. Works well uh, with pen and paper. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful sight? You're such a boss. I mean, this is even medium armor. This is, If I didn't know, I would just be like, oh, he's wearing heavy armor. That's what this looks like right here. Hey, there's some mage skill too. What do you know? What a winning per. Shut your mouth. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to cure my disease. I'm actually just gonna use a potion to do it. 
And I might want to have a chat with these people just to see if some of them have... I th oh, I don't have any that can... You got a blight disease and go get cured. Uh, there, I just... Uh, Fenric's door jam, so you can lock stuff. I'm not, I'm like, why lock stuff? Okay, so people are really mad at me. Is there an alchemist here? Not so close. A temple shrine. No one is going to talk to you. You guys are talking to me. You guys are always nice to me. Prices are probably going to be worse since this guy doesn't like me. But I want... Do you not have any... Cure common disease. Thank you, my good sir. I'll buy those full price. Because you just saved my life. There we go. That's better. Now everybody likes me again. That's... I don't know if that's where I want to go. I don't want to catch what you got? What do you mean? Oh, I don't have a disease. I have a blight. Because of course you had to make a freaking difference between disease and blight in this game. How do you, how do you cure blight then? Do I have to go to some sort of stupid temple? Because I will. I will. Don't, don't make me. Well, if I want to find something real quick, I have these scrolls that are supposed to bring me places. So if I did like a divine intervention, that should take me to a legion fort. Because I believe this leads me to an imperial shrine. Because I didn't know where the nearest one was. I might as well just use some of these scrolls. Hello? Is this where I can get myself healed? Invite you to become a member. No, screw you guys. I just want healing. What, stranger? But you guys aren't being mean to me. I like that. Hello. You're afflicted. Yes. You sell blight disease potions. Thank you. That's what I've been looking for. Nobody else wanted to help me. You guys are kind of cool. Restore. Cure blight disease. I like it. Okay. Damn. So much work, man. There we go. I'm cured. Now, where am I? Where did this... Oh, this teleported me up to the north. Gosh, where am I now? Help! I'm stuck in the north, and it's so foggy outside. Gosh, why does it insist on being foggy all the time? Well... I'm here now, stuck in the middle of nowhere. I guess we'll have to adventure if we want to make our way back. Oh, I see cliff racers flying in the sky. Dangerous around every corner. Well, guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And in the next one, I suppose we have to figure out where we go from here. I think I see a city over there. Do you see that city, Imperial Archer? I don't know you, what do you want? Give me some rumors. Yes, I know. It's it's crazy, isn't it? Sniff sniff. There was something over there. Well, we'll see what happens in the next one. So yeah, ow. Have still a good day, take care and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye. <laughs>